really grateful and happy to be standing before you today in this lovely gathering um, to speak uh, on this occasion where we celebrate friendship and entrepreneurship and what great concepts to be celebrated in such a place that exemplifies the best of entrepreneurship and friendship. Before I continue with my speech, actually, I would like to ask you a question. And it's directed to each and every one of you. Because today I want to talk about dreams. So let's go back in time a little bit, when we were little children. And let's remember the dreams that we had while we were children, actually. So anybody who had a dream as a child, please show me your hand so that I can recognize you. Wow, wow, amazing. Thank you very much. This leads me to my second question. Who amongst you who raised your hands still today think that you are living your dream that you had as a child? Yeah, sure, sure. Just two, three. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Dr. Amjad Laryan, whom I interviewed for my show a couple of months ago, told me that he was below average in everything when he was at school, except for one thing, which was his weight. <laughs> I have always loved excellence, and I had a great admiration for excellent and successful people. And whenever I see a successful person, I like to meet them, to know them, to learn from them, and to discover their secret to success, if there is such a thing as a secret to success. So I decided last year to do what I like most, which is to meet with successful people, with successful entrepreneurs, and learn from them. And I started an internet podcast called Riyadi Men Biladi, the Arab Entrepreneurs Podcast. In this podcast, I meet the best of the best of today's most successful Arab entrepreneurs in order to learn from them and to discover their experiences. Unfortunately, in Jordan, the typical and the best option that you have as a graduate is actually to leave the country and to seek employment elsewhere for better salaries and better job opportunities. And I assure you that my decision to stay here and start my own business was one of the best decisions I have ever taken, yet one of the hardest and toughest decisions as well. Going back to my first question, the question of dreams. And I know that only a few just raised your hands to say that you're actually currently living your dreams. I would like to ask you once more, do you know what's the main reason that people do not follow up with their dreams? I'm sure that every one of us has their own set of reasons. But the common factor between all these reasons is one word. Fear. Fear of rejection. Fear of failure. Fear of uncertainty. Fear of the unknown. And when I discovered the extreme, tremendous power that fear exerts over us, I decided to overcome my fears and start my own business to follow up with my own dream. And I hope after this gathering that those of you who would like to continue their childhood dreams do that as well. And until we meet again, my friends, I would like to thank you very much for your listening. And I would like to leave you with a quote that has affected my life a lot and is now considered the official quote of Riyadi Min Biladi, which is, the best time to plant a tree was exactly 20 years ago. But the second best time is now. And now it is your time. Thank you very much.